Hey guys, it's the weekend. It is dead quiet in the shop, which is absolutely a first. Um, I'm mostly just here doing some busy work and kind of planning for the week. We are pretty busy, uh, at least just this week. A lot of last minute jobs kind of got dropped on us, which is great, no complaints. That means really good um, information that's gonna be going out to you guys. So for this week, I wanted to just do a very brief introduction video to just kind of talk about some few things we're gonna discuss. One of them being the laser alignment system on our Anatol Volt. The second is gonna be how compatible um, all of our pallets are between our Titan and our Volt. Um, we will be switching on the Volt from adult pallets to youth pallets to sleeve pallets. And so I kind of wanted to show you guys how easy it is, how imperative it is to have all of these options at your shop. Um, we're also going to be printing shorts on our Prodigy, which we barely ever show anything on our Prodigy, so I'm super excited to show you guys that. We are printing a lot of reflective ink this week as well, um, and I love the reflective ink from One Stroke. It pairs so nicely with the 3M uh, reflective vinyl that we buy. It's a heat applique, and so this is a heat transfer that we absolutely do hand in hand with screen printing and it's a really important feature at your guys' shop that you should offer and be willing to learn more information about. Um, we're also gonna be printing some sweatpants, so that's cool. Everybody loves working from home and wearing sweatpants and how to market your business or get ideas for just your selling stuff to your clients. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited for this week. We have a handful of things going on. I believe we're also doing like a four or five color project on our Anatol Volt this week. And I hope I can show some artwork and burning the screens and just kind of showing you all the setup with that. So I hope you're having a good day. I hope this introduction video at least kind of steers y'all where this video is gonna go. Again, I hope we can wrap this up in another day or two, uh, just so that way I can get it posted really quickly for you guys. So thanks for all the questions, comments, concerns. Um, I appreciate everything. So always let me know what else y'all wanna know about. All right, so Richard is going to go ahead and start printing safety vests. And as you can see, he is using the laser alignment. And some of the great things about the laser alignment is he is able to maneuver those. And that is for if he needed to be more concerned about the left or the right hand side or for design placement, if we were to print left chest over the pocket. But here he's mostly focused on wanting to make sure that he's going to be centered in between those two reflective. He's just kind of checking his work. And with the laser alignment system, you do have multiple heads, so you can turn off and on as needed. And these are all, I don't know, is this one, which one do you have on? No, okay. I don't wanna move one they had set up, but these are all adjustable and you can move them wherever you may seem fit uh, based off of the design and location. And as I had mentioned, we are printing two colors on these safety vests on our Anatol Volt. So I'm gonna kind of take you all around. This job's not really very exciting, but it was just more of nonetheless to discuss the laser alignment options and the mobility in those. So. On this particular job, this is also a custom PMS color as well. So these are moving right along. It's a really short order. Um, so next he's gonna be switching over to youth palettes. So I will film that as well. All right, so Richard is all finished up with the safety vest and now we're gonna move on to these small drawstring bags. These are great for uh, small groups that are maybe like in church or school. Um, they're very economical and they're really easy to print on. 
and we can see Richard is very easily removing the adult palettes. And you can actually see already on head one where he's replaced it with a youth palette already. So he's gonna go and replace his palettes and do that first before he sets up the new screen for the job for those drawstring bags. And just like that, went from adult to a youth palette very easily and very quickly. Alright, so as you saw, we used our youth palettes to go ahead and print those drawstring bags and we're just waiting for them to come out of the dryer. Um, again, always going through quality control. We use one stroke ink, the ELTS, the white ink, very vibrant. Um, I love this ink mostly because it works on literally every single platform and the materials, like we can print polyester, these are nylon, we can print cotton. There we go, you can see the last few. Again, drawstring bags are super economical, great for churches, schools, birthday parties, as like thank you bags. And so he's going to, he's wrapping up the last few, and then we're gonna switch to sleeve palettes. All right, good morning. Another day at the shop, it is Tuesday. We just switched from all of our youth palettes. These are actually all of our Anatole Volt adult palettes and a few other palette sizes that we use pretty regularly. This is just kind of a little section of our space where we keep all of our tape inventory, our glue inventory, um, baby wipes, trash bags, crazy wipes, and all of our most popular colors. So I think it's really important to have items that you use most regularly, easily obtainable and this is right next to our Titan, which we're actually not even really using our Titan today. And over here on our Volt, we've already transitioned into our sleeve palettes. He's doing a test print for the sleeves of a job that we're about to get started with. And these sleeves are two color sleeves. With the compressor not running today, literally the most noise that I can hear is actually because both of the dryers are running and we have pretty large dryers. So he very quickly, easily changed into the sleeve palettes and right now he's just doing the test print and getting the day started. Uh, Maria, on the other hand, is over here on our all-electric Anatole Prodigy. She will be printing shorts over here. And same thing, she's getting set up and ready to go for the day. We're just doing one color white ink on shorts. And we're going to kind of just film a little bit of her production style on those. And, you know, very, very, very quiet in the shop today with everything that is running being all electric. So that's really cool. I was running kind of late today, so I didn't get to see these getting printed today. But this is reflective ink on a polyester short. They coincide with the shirts that we're doing heat pressing on over here. So we screen print these shirts. As you can see, there's emblem front and back. And we follow up with a heat seal transfer that I originally had talked about in the intro video. So we cut all the names. We obviously have to cover the screen printing so it doesn't accidentally come off. Um, but I'll try to record myself doing this in a little bit, but this is our heat press that we use. We actually have a much nicer one right here next to it that we don't really even use as often. I don't even feel like moving the stuff because it's a hassle, but that one actually the table pulls out and we can use that one as well, but I love this one from, um, 
Hicks Corporation. It's not a Hotronics. It's a Hicks brand. It has been my ride or die. And obviously I also have a hat press as well. We use our hat press a lot, especially for littler one-off projects. So we have both dryers running today and she should be printing shorts. Oh, she is. So you can see that she left a mark where she needs to load the shorts and we're using our Anatol Prodigy. She's measuring and marking the pallets with the pallet tape. And this is just so that way she can print rather quickly. She did the same thing on those reflective printed shorts that we just showed you guys, but oh, actually you can see the line. So that was the line from before. We've had to do a little bit of playing around with this because we don't have quite the correct screen sizes on these and we are looking for a suitable company to create the correct screen sizes that we need for this. And again, we use one stroke ELTS white ink. This machine does permit you to use automatic as well, but she is using a foot pedal in this regard. And we're just using this nice feature, the arm, to hold the shorts. That way it's steady and that way it's also not hanging off over the edge and drawing unnecessary weight. Because you can see how crisp, you can see how crisp the final product is. And this is with just two passes. Two passes of the ELT-S white ink that we use. And if you guys call One Stroke and just ask them a lot of questions based off your shop, they'll probably be able to help you, no problem. You can see, perfect location. All right, well, I'm gonna get out of Maria's hair and let her work on those. So it goes through our dryer. We use gas dryers. We usually run about 340. We could always potentially turn it down a little bit, but we just want to ensure that there's no curing problems because these are polyester shorts. But as you can see, they come through the dryer and very clean, very bright white, really crisp, perfect placement. Um, so yes, we love using the Prodigy for little projects like this because it eliminates wasted time of having to change pallets, even though changing pallets is really, really useful and a really great tool when you don't have all the equipment. But because we do have this equipment, we try to use it to our advantage. So I'm gonna film again a little bit later today. As you can see, Richard is now actually printing sleeves. And in here, we obviously transitioned to sleeve palettes because of the length of the design. And you can see that this is a two color. This is two color and silver shimmer. It's a little hard to see with the LED lights. He's also still using the, la the laser alignment system on the sleeves. This just ensures, you know, the same spacing, same placement on all the shirts, despite what size they are. Cause this, Consistency is so important. So, very quiet. Really, really, really quiet day in the shop today, and it's really cool that we are get to, we get to use both of these machines at the same time. So, they're all finished with the printing of the sleeves on this design. However, the other sleeve is also going to get printed as well. So, just a little bit of a different verbiage. So, we still have those sleeve palettes up on our vault. And as soon as everyone's back from lunch, they'll be printing the other sleeve. In the meantime, we're going to go harass Eduardo and look at the artwork that he's doing for those. Those are going to be a five-color job. And Eduardo's gonna kind of talk about the design and some separation stuff. 
So this is going to be the finished product. Sorry about the glare, but it's, you said five colors, correct? Five colors, yes. Five colors, okay. And so right here is going to be in a black shirt. So there's going to be the white under base. Um, it's going to be a, a blue color and then aqua just to make that uh, image like more realistic like the one we have in the picture. We're going to add a red channel, which is like just a little bit ink right here in the mouth. You can barely see it, but it's going to be there. Um, also, we're adding a white highlight uh, just to make the moon pop a lot more. Then I had to create uh, two different channels in order to make the wording, uh, which is going to be all silver shimmer to match the sleeves. So this wording here and the wording at the bottom, he's mentioning that's going to be silver shimmer. Mm -hmm. And that's the same that we printed on the two color sleeves I filmed already. Correct. And I couldn't make this, I couldn't help do it on the separation since there's a lot of grays in it. It will pick up from the from the wording so I just had to create two different uh, channels which is going to be right here for the shimmer for both of the text which is going to be converted into just one film. Awesome, awesome. So he's going to go ahead and get the films all printed for this and then we are going to get those screens burned and I will show some footage on that as well. We'll go ahead and briefly talk about uh, the heat seal application on these screen printed shirts that we did that was done in the reflective. So we obviously mark off every single name and we have the quantity that there's supposed to be. So over here with our heat press, you can see we have the transfer already built in onto the carrier. And then over the screen printing, we have to put a Teflon sheet because you absolutely do not want any of the ink to adhere to the top of the heat press. And something really, really important about reflective is that it must be at like 320 degrees and you need to make sure it's on there for 15 seconds. So you can see we're at 320 and you wanna have very good firm pressure and it's gonna lock. And while that's curing, you know, we usually have, you know, prepped for the other names that we're kind of doing. And we really only have one person doing this at a time, mostly because it's a very hectic job every time we do it. Great, it's gonna beep. This is when you go ahead and you pull the transfer. That's a carrier and you can see that it's very, can't quite see that it's reflective because I don't have flash on, but it is very reflective. And you remove your Teflon sheet. As you can see, nothing is stuck to the Teflon sheet. And this is also still extremely reflective as well. And then we go ahead and flip it over and do the back. Um, no different on the back. This is a little hard to do one handed. Um, so you're gonna lay, I'm gonna pause this, but you're gonna lay this as smooth as possible and then we're gonna go ahead and lay the corresponding back onto the back below the number and cover with the transfer sheet as well. The rest of it's pretty self-explanatory. So I just wanted to show you all that. So to kind of show you the reflective in our LED light, both of them from a few foot distance look comparably the same. And I also wanna show you guys compared to the silver shimmer the reflective is very comparable to our silver shimmer that we also order from One Stroke Ink as well. But it, the silver shimmer is not reflective. All right, so we went from printing long sleeve t-shirts to printing these gray sweatpants. These sweatpants in particular are for a cadet class. However, they would be perfect for people working from home and on this screen, we are printing the maximum uh, height that we're capable of printing on our Anatole Volt. This is the full 18 inches. I'm gonna show you a completed one over here. These are pretty simple. They're all just one color. So, yep, just wanted to show you guys the ability that we have printing the full 18 inches on sweatpants with our Anatol Volt. And he's wrapping up this project. This is just a small order of sweatpants. Today we're also printing on our Anatol Titan. In here, the Anatol Titan is much louder than the Volt. This is, we're using, this is a two color job um, on polyester shirts. 
these particular brand of sport tech polyester shirts actually bleed um, really really bad so we always have to make sure that we're using a good base even though we're printing yellow and the yellow that we use doesn't necessarily require a base but on these polyester shirts because of the bleed we absolutely have to and as our white base we just use the one stroke ink and she's doing a print So she's doing print, print, flash, and that's how the white looks. You can actually see how some parts of the pigment of the shirt are already bleeding through a little bit. Um, but by the time that the yellow gets coated on here, it has really nice coverage and you can't see any bleed through or anything like that. And even after it's ran through the dryer, um, it's really important that if you're buying sport tech shirts that you guys buy the posi charge ones Those are the ones that don't permit the bleed through as heavily as these I believe um, These are still 100% polyester, but it's just this particular brand is really bad with the bleeding like the style number So as you can see these are the T473 and yes, these are not the posi charge ones, and yes, they do cause bleeding really bad. But once those ones are already done through the dryer, so now we're just printing the opposite side of those. So. And normally if I was buying shirts, I wouldn't purchase this particular one. I would go ahead and spend the extra money on the posi charge, but these were client supplied, and we kind of have to just make do with what we can, so. All right. I want to go ahead and revisit on these. So these were the shirts that we were talking about that were a two color sleeve, both sleeves, both sides, just with some different verbiage. These shirts also got a back, which the back was super simple. It's just a one color silver shimmer. And so Richard is now setting up the front, which actually ended up being six colors. Um, just because I think he forgot to mention the additional silver shimmer um, that he had added on that extra channel. So Richard is getting this set up on our Anatole Volt. You can see that he's already back into adult palettes. Um, mind you that this is like mid-afternoon Wednesday and this whole video montage of different stuff that we've been doing these past few days, everything goes really pretty quickly here. Um, which is wonderful, you know, and the ease of Anatol and all of their products just make this so much easier. So we're using Head One with number two flash. We'll be coming over here to three, which is going to be Royal Blue. Then we'll be doing Aqua. We're doing Red. And then I believe we'll be flashing after Red. And then silver is going to be the spot color. It's an independent film that was itself. And then we have our white highlight. So this is his very first test print. So he's still probably lining everything up. And he's just checking as we go along. So as he's wrapping up this test print, I just kind of want to show you guys and then I'll show another video when we're actually in production. And we always label all of our screens so you can also see all of the screens and the mesh. This is the base on a 196 white. And then all the other colors I believe are all on 230s. So the Royal, the Aqua's on 230, Red's on 230. Mostly because there's a lot of really busy half tones. Um, the Silver Shimmer ended up being on a 110, obviously because of its consistency and the layer of ink that we need to have. And 
here on the white highlight, we're actually, um, it's also on a 230, and you can actually see that the squeegee isn't gonna go all the way up because that's going to pull some of the ink off of the t-shirt from this silver screen. So again, great Anatol features is we can easily adjust and move the head as needed, and that way it doesn't pull up on the design that much. Whereas this, you can see the silver shimmer is at the farthest at the top, also is at the farthest of the bottom that you can't see under there, but the white is only going to be printed between there and there. And so he's going to go ahead and continue to make some adjustments, but you can kind of see from the screen onto here. A lot of really cool detail, color variations. So I'm really excited to see this when it's all finished and he's done with the test prints. After some very minor changes from the initial test print, we are now beginning production. So we're gonna start at the white. And you can see that the flash is going right next to us. So that's the base white and then flash. We're doing two strokes of royal. And it's going back because it's flashing over there. So, and then we're doing two strokes of aqua, which I didn't quite catch, so I'm gonna wait for the next pass to come. All right, and you can see it's doing the strokes of aqua. It's also doing strokes of red. Single passes, oh no, I'm sorry, double passes on both of those. And we are running our second flash. And we're running the flash as a step back to cure the silver shimmer. Just so we're able to do another pass, just to make sure it's nice and vibrant. We really want the consistency on all the locations to look exactly the same. And then we're coming over here for the very last pass of that highlight white. And you can see to get as close as possible for you guys so it looks really really great and so we already had one run through the dryer and so wait till you guys see the design from a few feet away and there's that so Cool, we're really excited. That was super easy to set up on our Anatol Volt. All right, so he's gonna go ahead and wrap up this job. And Maria's over here working on our Anatol Titan. So she's about to get started also on a pretty big multicolor job. And I really think that this covers everything that I wanted to talk about this week. So I really hope that this was pretty informative for you guys. And I look forward to hearing any feedback. 